Hey guys, this is Nyakon. Welcome to OB Studios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a header menu with flex bags in Elementor. Okay, so for you to create a header, you first navigate to your back end of your WordPress website, go to template, and then click on menu team builder. So when I click on Team Builder, if you do not have a header menu or you don't have anything in a Team Builder, you might see something like this. So at the moment, we want to create a header. So we click on Header. And then it gives you um, all these pre-made headers which have already been designed by Elementor. Um, today, we don't want to select any pre-made headers. So we want to create our own. So we're going to close this. And then we have this full canvas to ourselves to create the header that we want. Before we go forward, let me show you some of the headers that I'm trying to do today. Go back here. Um, go to pages and then look for header menu. Okay, so as you can see, I have a bunch of headers that already try creating uh, with flex packs so that I know how things um, work around before I show you how they look. So these are some of the headers that I've made. Um, let's try and recreate um, either the first, uh, the first two or just the first one. So we're going to go back into um, our, um, our header place where on the section where we create the header. If you want to rename the header, you can click on the setting icon down below here. And then you can give this a name that you want. I'm just going to give it a header. Remove the numbers back behind it. <clears throat> then, yeah, if you want, you can give this one header. So that um, it's good for SEO. So that is something that you should try doing. And then after that, you can just go back, click on this um, um, app like icon, and it will bring you back here. So, um, creating this, as you can see, we have um, a logo here. We have the list um, of our menu here, and then we have two buttons: the sign in button and then um, a find a store button. So, we're gonna go back. Let's put up three. Let's put up first a container. So our container, as we can see, our header flows from left to right, meaning that um, it's in a row. So we're going to choose this to show for that. And after choosing that, now we click back over here to open um, our header. So first, we have to look for the logo. I already uploaded my logo <coughs> over here. So if I choose this, it's going to show my logo. But let's say you don't have your logo already uploaded. You're trying to do that. You can just pick an image. Here's the first one. The second one is we need this list. So we go back and then we look for me nav menu. So that is the name of the list. We put it behind, uh, beside it. Um, the next thing we are looking for is two buttons. So we click back over here. Um, we're looking for buttons. So we find one button here that we can just duplicate this button. So now we have four elements in our container. Um, the, the image, the list of menu, and then the two buttons. First, let's start um, <clears throat> styling this. So we're going to click on this, and then we're going to come back over here and then click on choose image. We already uploaded our image. So this is the logo that we're going to use. I'm going to click on the logo and then click on insert. Okay, so um, this logo is uh, is an SVG. Um, yeah. yeah, so if you don't know about SVG, I don't think today is the right video to do that. But it is better to use SVGs for your logos than using normal PNGs or web P files. The reason is because these are scalable. So if someone opens this image in a wider screen, it should be able to open nicely. So this image that you see over here is the same one over here. So this can be 
really big and it's still going to hold the detail that it needs to hold. So we're just gonna go, I'm gonna go back here, click on line, do full, to make sure that everything is sharp and clean. Um, if you if you have a particular size that you want to use, you can type it in here. Let's say you want to do a 75. So this is a 75. Um, the next thing to do is it looks like this whole header, the container that the head is in, is a bit long. It's a bit wide. So we have to make that happen. So if you want to make the the container, um, the height of the container longer. You click on this cargo icon over here. You see minimum height. Well, depending on how you want to do it, you can click on this. Uh, this is um, viewport viewport height, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to use pixels. So we're going to click on pixels already selected. We click over here and then we type in the number that we want. Right? We're going to use a 90. So 90 pixels. Um, so we have that. So as you can see, already our element, uh, stack at the top we, we don't want that from here you can see that the elements are in the middle everything is aligned in the middle so we want to align everything that is within this container this container in the middle so we click on the container back again if you have a uh, deselected it and then go back here um so you can see align item so this you want to click on center as soon as we click on center every item that is um inside this container is now aligned to the center or to the middle then as we can see there is a good enough space in between each item so we click on this and then we can go through here to see which one works okay this is how this looks this looks this way and this looks this way from what i'm seeing i think it is space in between so we have our logo, our list, and then we have um, our two um, buttons. So we can keep styling these uh, these buttons. The first one says sign in, the second one says find a store. So let's type in sign in. And then go back here and then can type find a store. Okay, so I think um, as you can see, the color of that is a red. If you want to change the color, you click on the element and then you click on the style and then you come here to color and choose the color that you want. I'm going to choose a red as they did. Um, and then the sign in is a white. So the, just like um, doing this, you click on that and then you click on style and then you choose a white. And then the text color was white, so we need to change that to a black. So you can just click here and then choose a black. So these are predefined colors that I'm using. So I could also use a predefined a white here. So it looks like um, you're almost there. So when you hover on any of these menu items, you can see that um, the list, like the item moves up. We can achieve that by clicking back on the menu. And then over here is called pointer. So how do we want the pointer to be? We want the pointer to affect the text. So we choose text. And then um, as you can see, it gives you a, uh, it gives you a bit of an animation. So this animation says grow. So let, when we hover on this, you see that the text has grew. The same thing. So that's not what you want. We want something that will float. So let's choose float. Yes. So this is what we're looking for. And then you can see that the, the head, this container, this whole menu has a background color of green. So we can click here, go to style, click on background type, click the color, and choose something in and around here. Well, we might not find uh, the, the same color, but <clears throat> it is a green so and then we can change the color of the going back to the menu we can change the color of the menu too by clicking on it going back to style click over here 
and then you can change the color of the menu. I think the color there is a black. So we can just choose a black. Or if you have your colors predefined, you can click on this um, icon and then you can choose this color. Okay, let's say we want to, as you can see there, uh, the weight of these um, text is pretty light. So we can click on typography. And then we can look for the weight. You can say, okay, give us something like a 400. Yeah, the 400 looks looks appropriate. So that is how you are able to create a menu um, using containers. As you can see, we didn't use more than one container, just this container, and then all the items have been laid and nicely. Um, we can try and even make it more uh, more responsive. You can click. Uh, if you want to make it responsive, you can come down over here where it says responsive mode, click over here. And let's say, okay, so on laptops, it will look similar to this. So as you can see, it is almost touching the end um, of a laptop that is within this um, width range. We don't want that to happen. So we're going to click on the container, go to advanced setting. What we're going to do is give it a pattern on both sides. So we can go in here and then we can say, okay, um, we don't want the tab because top already has a pattern. Let's say right, let's say 20. And then left, you can say also 20. So it gives you a nice pattern all around um, the element inside the container. Uh, why didn't we use um, margin? If you use margin, you can see what happens. Let's say we use margin of 40, 50. Nothing even happens because this is already in a full width. That covers the whole the whole length of um, the viewport that we, we had now. So that it is for the laptop. We can click on tablet and see what happens. So as soon as we click on tablet, this then changes to a hamburger. Um, we can say, okay, hamburger, you, you can, when you click on this, you have more customization over here. Uh, you can go down here. If you want to change the color of this hamburger, you can click on toggle button and say color. You can say, okay, give me a black. And then you can say, you see this light? Um, I don't know if that is a gray, but this light color um, background, you can also click and change it, say to a green. And let's say you want to make this whole thing, um, the background of this into a circle. You can say, okay, go here, and then you can choose 50%. Now you have it in a circle form. The probably the black is not the best. You can choose a white. And... As you can see, yeah, it looks good. If you want to change the size of that hamburger, you can do. You can use this to change it. I think a size of probably fifteen or twenty is good. Um, yeah. So that is how you create a menu or a header in Elementor using containers. So I hope this was insightful. If you learned anything. You can leave a comment down below. You can subscribe and then you can also give us a thumbs up. Um, as always, this is Nyakon. Welcome to OB Studios.